Casemiro finding Anthony Martial. Now it's Marcus Rashford. Rashford won as the Champions League. Can he get the job done against Valencia? Yes, he can. Pogba finding Chong out wide now. Cross coming back in. Paul Pogba with the header and it's in. You just cannot stop Pogba this season. He's been wonderful. Hey guys, how's it going? It is S2G and welcome to episode number 36 of the Manchester United Career Mode series. A lot's gonna go down in this episode. We've got the transfer deadline day, which means potential transfers in or maybe even out of the club, so anything can happen. And if transfer business does not excite you, we've got a massive away game against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. And apart from all that, also, we're gonna be finding out our Champions League group for this upcoming season so a lot's gonna go down in today's episode you guys are crazy man the support y'all have shown on this man united career mode is just unbelievable every episode gets over 20,000 views over a thousand likes for sure it's actually crazy can we keep it going 1000 likes again and i'll get you guys an episode tomorrow itself and make sure to subscribe for more fifa 19 career mode content we're getting very close to 80,000 subscribers as well starting off the episode with a press conference as we normally do and if you guys want to get involved make sure to drop in your questions down in the comment section below now last episode we had a bit of a discussion on Dean Henderson whether to sell him or not and a lot of people wanted me to sell him because last season he did make quite a few mistakes in the cup competition so I think you should sign Onana from Ajax as a backup keeper and you know what it's a transfer a lot of you guys want me to make let's try and make this happen so we're going to be selling Dean Henderson and bringing in Andre Onana the man who's helped Ajax the champion Champions League semi-finals this season in real life. We're going to try and bring him to Manchester United. Next question, Ronaldo was a great threat in the air last season. How do you plan to compensate with respect to your gameplay? Well, yes, last season Ronaldo helped us score a tremendous amount of headers, but if you've been watching my gameplay this season, you would have noticed Paul Pogba has scored his fair share of headers. Out of the four goals he scored, I think three of them have been headers, so I guess he's the man to, you know, replace Ronaldo for that aerial threat, and he's doing a fantastic job so far. Crazily enough, he's actually our top scorer this season, so I I guess that's the way we're going to compensate with Ronaldo's aerial threat. Next question, don't sell Lingard because thanks to him you won loads of matches in the FA Cup. And you know what, that is actually true. In the FA Cup, Jesse Lingard balled down for us. He was the top scorer of the competition, if I'm not wrong. And you know what, I kind of feel bad letting Jesse Lingard go without seeing him lift some silverware. So we're going to keep Lingard at the club and hopefully this season he'll help us to a FA Cup or at least a Carabao Cup trophy. We'll see what happens. But Jesse Lingard is staying at Manchester United for at least another season. That is done for this press conference. Let's move on. Paul Pogba has done it again. You guys voted for him as your player of the episode and again, I can't say I'm surprised. He was brilliant in that last episode, scoring goals left, right and centre, assists as well. He's our top scorer right now, so of course he's going to win this award. And there you go. Paul Pogba is your player of the episode. Let's go ahead and wrap up the Andre Onana deal. You guys want me to sign him for Man United and we're going to do exactly that. So these are Ajax's demands for Onana and you know what? They're pretty reasonable. £28.6 million plus a 5% sell-on clause. I'm not going to complain. Ajax can have that much. So these are Onana's demands and you know what? They're pretty reasonable. £61,000 per week and a signing bonus of about a half a million. Only a rotation squad role are his demands and of course a five-year contract length. I feel like it's a very good contract. We're going to offer him that and that's that. Onana has been signed by Manchester United. With that signing of Andre Onana, I think we've now got the complete squad to compete for every single trophy this season. I mean, just look at this team how good is this team like honestly no more signings this window but of course winter transfer window we might go ahead and make some more signings if some of the players aren't performing but for now i'm really content with my squad before we move any further a quick season goals update two trophies so far this season brilliant we still haven't lost a single game in the premier league we need to keep that going one clean sheet so far, I mean, it's okay, but we need to try and keep more clean sheets, especially in the Premier League. And Mbappe now with three goals, hopefully that'll be more by the end of this episode. He is in good form now, and we need him to continue pushing on. We don't have games against Liverpool and Man City in this episode, so the Derby Day's objective is alright for now. And again, if I can give games to Felix Chong and Greenwood, maybe in the Carabao Cup, they can maybe back themselves a few goals. 
For now though, it's all about the game at Stamford Bridge. Manchester United going away to Chelsea. That's going to be one hell of a game. Obviously, I've gone with a very strong lineup for this away fixture against Chelsea. Mbappe leading the line. You've got Dembele, Pogba, Saul, Skriniar, Titi. All of them starting. Marcus Rashford, a bit of a controversial one to play him instead of Anthony Martial. But Rashford's been in unbelievable form, so I had to start him. Our team is looking really, really good. Let's try and put in a dominant performance and hopefully walk away with the win. So here we have the Chelsea team that we're going to be facing. An interesting lineup, that's for sure. Godin, Koulibaly, Jorginho, Kante. A good attack with Rodrigo. Hazard still at Chelsea. It's a good team, but at the same time, I feel like our team is way better and we can get the win. Here goes Marcus Rashford on the attack. I see Mbappe making a good run. Releases it to Saul who should score and that's wide. How on earth is Saul missed that? Normally those go in. But maybe because it was with his weak foot that's why. But that's still a chance we really should have converted. Good build up play though. Is Mbappe now out wide to Marcus Rashford. That's a brilliant ball to him. Rashford shoots, but Aspeli Quetta with a crucial block there. I think we've been better than Chelsea in these first 20 minutes or so. We need to keep pushing forward. This is not good. Rodrigo is pretty quick. Good cross coming in. Now it's Willian on the attack. Tries to find Jorginho. And that is a massive chance wasted there by Chelsea. That should have been a goal for them. We got really lucky. Saul. Now Paul Pogba in behind to Usman Dembele. This is our chance. Dembele shoots. Keeper saves on the rebound. Can we convert? Aspeli Quetta gets it away and then Kepa clears it. I mean, we're wasting so many chances. Now it's Chelsea's turn to attack. It's Mario Rui finding Eden Hazard now. Hazard in a dangerous spot. Puts in a good cross. We should get it away. Kante with an amazing attempt there. Thankfully, we've got De Gea in our team. He makes a great save. It's been a very even game now. I must say, I thought we were dominating, but now Chelsea have bounced back. Hazard inside to Rodrigo, who turns there. Still, Rodrigo gets the shot off, and that's off the post. How on earth did Rodrigo get so much power behind that attempt? I mean, look at that for a shot. It was literally a bullet. Thankfully, it was off target and it came off the post. It's been a very, very difficult game at Stamford Bridge so far. I really think we need a bit more creativity in our midfield. So I'm bringing on Ruben Neves for Casemiro. I know it's a risky move to make, but I feel like this might pay off really well if it works out. Now Pogba pushing forward for me. Great cross coming in. Maybe Kylian Mbappe with the header. Go on. We've taken the lead at Stamford Bridge against Chelsea. And of course, it's Kylian Mbappe. Our most expensive player is getting the job done for us at Stamford Bridge. Pogba as well. Credit to him for that phenomenal cross. And also the movement, the run from Kylian Mbappe was inch perfect. And the header as well to, you know, get the ball past Kepa was superb. As Manchester United have taken the lead at Stamford Bridge, this is an important goal. Go on, Usman Dembele. Mbappe is on side. Mbappe shoots, and we've made it 2 0 in quick succession. Kylian Mbappe has just scored a brace against Chelsea. That is exactly why we've signed him. He's just a phenomenal striker getting the job done for us at Stamford Bridge. This is not an easy stadium to come and play. And of course, Mbappe on his first visit itself is just on fire. Can Mbappe get himself a hat trick in this one? Hopefully. We are now in a very good situation, leading 2-0 against Chelsea. This is some brilliant play from Chelsea and you know what? They deserve to score. The build-up play for that goal was superb. And Hazard has managed to get Chelsea right back into this one. A fantastic finish from the Belgian. Have a look at this build-up play. Quick, incisive passing, leading to Hazard getting the ball. And then, from that position, of course, Hazard's going to score. It's game on. Saul trying to be a bit trickier. Just outside the box. Plays this one to Paul Pogba. Controls it well. Saul now again and scores. Saul, right place, right time. Making a deep run into the box and it works out perfectly as we make it 3-1 against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. Just as Chelsea was slowly but surely trying to get back into the game, we've hit them with this important goal. Saul proving to be a game changer here as it's now 3-1 to Man United. Chelsea might have a chance to get one goal back. It's Eden Hazard, brilliantly defended there by Skriniar. Benzema finds Jorginho, again a block from Skriniar, who I thought was decent in this game, apart from that one goal we conceded. And that's that. It's full time against Chelsea, and it's a massive win for us away from home at Stamford Bridge against the difficult Chelsea side. When Hazard scored that goal, I thought, you know what, we were going to drop points in this one because Chelsea was slowly getting back into the game. But we didn't. We stuck through our plan. Saul scored, and of course, Kylian Mbappe's brace helps us to get all three points in this one. Huge win for us. So we've just received a transfer offer for Dean Henderson, 10.5 million pounds, not bad at all from Crystal Palace. We've already signed Onana, so let's accept this deal. 
Thank you, Big Dean, for your services, I suppose, but it's now time for you to move on. Well, I suppose it's official now. Dean Henderson has been sold to Crystal Palace for about £10 million. The Champions League group stage draw has been made and this is the group we're in. Manchester United, Roma, RB Leipzig and Slavia Praha. Can't complain, it's actually a decent group. I think we are favourites to finish first in this one, but Roma, RB Leipzig can all cause upsets. And Slavia Praha, in real life this season, managed to reach the Europa League quarterfinals, if I'm not wrong. So, they're a decent team as well. It's going to be an interesting group. Taking a look at the other Champions League groups as well, Barca, Leverkusen, Porto and Genk. You've got PSG, Valencia, Kiev and Galatasaray in Group B. Group C, Liverpool, Inter, Monaco and Moscow, probably the group of deaths so far. Group E, Bayern, Everton, Marseille and Basel. Group F, City, Lazio, Betis and Shakhtar. Group G, oh, okay, okay, this is the group of death. Juve, Atletico, Madrid and Ajax in the same group. How crazy is that? Olympiakos as well. And in Group H, you've got Madrid, Dortmund, Moscow and Bruges. We are still at the top of the Premier League after three games with nine points, equal with Liverpool, Wolves and even Spurs. But of course, Wolves have played a game more than us. Up next, we face Watford at home at Old Trafford. Hopefully, we can get the win and also potentially even a clean sheet. That'll definitely be helpful. I've made quite a few changes for this one against Watford. Jao Felix gets a big opportunity to play. Rashford starts as well down the right. Ruben Neves was brilliant against Chelsea once he was brought on, so he gets a start. Lucas Hernandez starts as well. Manola starts. It's a brilliant Man United team. Let's go get the win. Oh, I see Mbappe making a run. That's a brilliant pass to Kylian Mbappe who should score, but that's actually a brilliant save there from the Watford keeper. I kind of feel like Mbappe wasted that chance. It was... Probably one of the best through passes I've pulled off so far in this series, at least one of them. And now it's Watford pushing forward on the attack. They might be able to create something off this. Manolas has been beaten, but he recovers well. And Jao Cancelo and Skrini are heading the ball onto each other. Comedy FC. Ruben Neves now out wide to Jao Felix. A big chance for him. I would love to see him score now for us. Go on, Jao Felix. Still, Jao Felix gets it onto his right foot. Shoots straight at Kylian Mbappe. What on earth is happening in this game, guys? Like, honestly, you guys saw the way Mbappe just started holding his stomach there. It was honestly hilarious. But you know what? We should actually try and aim at goal instead of each other. And now we go on the attack. Go on, Marcus Rashford. Finds, of course, Pogba laying it off to Kylian Mbappe. Now it's Jao Felix and he scores. He's onside, is he? Yes, he is. Jao Felix gets himself a goal. And this helps us with one of our objectives as well as Manchester United have taken the lead against Watford. Can we actually make it four straight Premier League wins? That would be amazing. What a way to start off the season. Mbappe is having a brilliant episode as he gets the assist for that one. Oh, go on, Pogba now. Finding Marcus Rashford, we should score from this. That's actually a brilliant block and then they do clear the ball away. Watford defending for their lives now. Oh, Rashford's making the run and Pogba sees him. Go on, Marcus Rashford. We know he's got the pace. Rashford now won. We won. And of course, oh well, what? It's off the bar? I was just going to say, of course he's going to score and turns out Rashford has hit the crossbar there. That is a bit unfortunate. Still only 1-0 against Watford. Oh, it was actually a massive save there from the Watford goalkeeper. I thought Rashford missed that. Fair play then to Watford. This is not looking that great for us as they might have a chance. De Gea with a sensational save there. Can't lie. De Gea has probably been our best player in this game so far. He's made some cracking saves and Lucas Hernandez clears that one. That is the advantage of having a tall left back. Go on, Paul Pogba. Can he chip the keeper from there? Why did I even try that? Like, honestly, what's going on with me in front of goal? I tried to chip the keeper while he was literally on his line. That's a bit stupid there for me. If I would have just shot that towards the far post or even the near post, it would probably be a goal as Tom cleverly comes on for Watford. That's a bit funny. Seeing, of course, former United player Tom cleverly. I didn't even know he played football. I thought he retired, but that's, that's a bit of an interesting thing. That's that for this one. A hard-fought victory for us against Watford. I feel like it's deserved though. We had way more chances than them, but in a few occasions they did get their opportunities. But then, of course, we had David De Gea who saved the day for us. Another three points in the bag. Four straight wins in the Premier League for us. Hold on, that's a big offer coming from Bayern Munich for Jao Cancelo. But the thing is, he's probably the highest rated right back in the game at this point. 
and there's absolutely no need for us to sell him. I really enjoy using him. He's tall, he's quick, he's literally the perfect right back for us. I feel like he's gone kind of unnoticed in this series so far because I haven't really seen him make a mistake, so we don't really talk much about him. But yeah, I'm telling you guys now, he's a solid right back and we're not going to sell him. Whoa, that's a big offer coming in for Ruben Neves from Arsenal. £70 million pretty much. But I'm not interested to sell him. I genuinely enjoy using Ruben Neves. He's a quality midfielder and we're going to keep him. And that's our transfer window done and dusted. We've spent 338 million in this window. How crazy is that? Signing Lucas Hernandez, Mbappe, Skriniar and Onana. We did sell three pretty big players by Ronaldo and of course Dean Henderson. I'm content with my team so I'm really happy with the way this transfer window has gone down. Hopefully we'll achieve a lot this season. Our focus is now back on the Premier League. We are league leaders now unbeaten in the Prem. And up next, we've got Southampton away from home who are struggling in the league with only four points so far. And also a bit of good news, Liverpool, Spurs, both of them have draw points. So that's awesome. I've actually made quite a few changes for this one against Southampton away from home because I wanted to keep my team fully fit for that Champions League game in midweek and also I wanted to give an opportunity to the likes of Chong, Felix and even Jesse Lingard who is captaining the team playing in that cam role. You guys wanted to see Rashford play up top, he's playing up top for us in this one. Awar starts as well, Dalot gets an opportunity and Onana makes his Manchester United debut. Still a very strong United team so let's get that three points in the bag. On the attack we go now, Ja Felix finding Marcus Rashford brilliantly. Can Rashford convert this time? Yes, he can. That's the lethal finish from the young Englishman as Manchester United have taken the lead away from home against Southampton. Felix getting the assist for that one and it's Rashford who's playing as our striker for the first time this season. And he of course scores. Look at that for a finish though. It was just a lethal one. No chance for the keeper at all. Southampton really pushing forward now. We've got to defend properly. Mina inside. Manolas does really well there. Cheeky, you know, flick there to get the ball away from defense. And it's half time in this one. 1-0 one advantage to United. Let's keep going. I'm sure Mbappe will be able to play 45 minutes in this one. And then, of course, 90 minutes in the Champions League. So we're going to bring him on for this one. We're going to play Mbappe down the right. A lot of people have been suggesting me to do this. You know, Mbappe down the right and Rashford up front. Let's see how it works in this one against Southampton. Hampton. So we've just received a penalty and I wasn't really talking when it happened because I thought it was going to be a free kick from outside the box. So let's take a look and see what actually happened. So it was a foul on Kylian Mbappe over here. Look at this now. I did a skill move. It didn't really work out well. And then he was tripped. That feels like it's outside the box in my opinion. Maybe just about inside. Oh well, we get a penalty and a chance to make it 2-0. Of course, I'm going to take this penalty with Kylian Mbappe to try and complete the objective that we've got with him. Can Mbappe score? He can't. I am so bad with penalties. Like, genuinely, this has been a bit of a meme since season one. Me just unable to score penalties. Like, it's, it's, it's getting frustrating now. If you guys have any tips, let me know. Like, honestly, I just don't know how to take them. Mbappe is now moving inside. Finding Casemiro, who's got a good shot on him, shoots, and oh, that was actually very close. I think it took a deflection as well. Corner for us, and it's Jesse Lingard to take this one. Decent delivery, and it's Rashford with the header. Keeper saves, and Mbappe somehow hasn't scored from there. Here's Mbappe now, finding Marcus Rashford. Back to Kylian Mbappe, takes a great touch, shoots, keeper saves. That's a good save there. That's that for this one. Another 1-0 one win for us against Southampton. Clean sheet as well as the three points, so can't really complain. Rashford getting the only goal of the game. Mbappe missing a penalty as well, a bit annoying. But you know what? We get the job done and that's the most important thing. Clean sheet as well, so yeah, can't complain. We literally have the perfect possible start to our Premier League season. Top of the league with 15 points, 4 points above Spurs, 5 above Liverpool. It just can't get any better for us. We need to keep continuing with results like this. Next episode should be a lot of fun as Champions League football is finally back as we face Slavia Praha in the group stages. And also we've got West Ham in the Carabao Cup. They're the team that have knocked us out twice in cup competitions. And I want to get revenge over them by knocking them out from the early stages of the Carabao Cup. Also games against Burnley and Palace. If you guys want the next episode tomorrow itself, drop a like on the video, 1000 likes, and I'll get it to you guys tomorrow itself. A quick season goals update before we move any further. We're still unbeaten in the Premier League. In fact, we've won every single game so far. Three clean sheets as well, which is actually 
pretty good by my standards. Mbappe with five goals. He's, I guess, on track to complete the Golden Boy objective. Still haven't faced Liverpool or Man City. And only the one goal from Ja Felix for the future looks bright challenge. Hopefully, next episode with Carabao Cup games involved, we can, you know, make progress towards that objective. Before we end off the episode, time for you guys to choose your player of the episode nominees. First one being David De Gea. He had to be nominated for this one. Made some crucial saves. Helped us keep a clean sheet as well. Also helped us get the result again. Against Chelsea, he's your first nominee. Your second one, Kylian Mbappe. Scoring a brace against Chelsea, you've got to be in the nominations, that's for sure, especially if that game is at Stamford Bridge. So, Mbappe, De Gea, those two are your nominees. Click the i button on the top right of your screen to vote for either of them. And that is that for today's episode. Really hope you guys have enjoyed this one. The support continues to just baffle me, man. It's actually crazy how much you guys are enjoying this Manchester United career mode. So let's keep it going. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I shall see you guys very soon for another Man United career mode episode.